first of all, could you walk us through that, that final three attempt on the play with 24 seconds to go? Uh, so the play was um, the play was for somebody to come out and receive the ball, and then I'm posting up like in the middle of the paint. But I saw we couldn't get the ball in, so I just ran, ran across to get the ball. And, and as soon as I, I, I shot the three, I mean, it felt, I, I'm, I was like, this is going in. And Kawhi got a little piece, you know, and, and, and locked it a little bit. Um, but as soon as like that play happened, I was like, ah, probably could have hit him with like a step back and then go. I thought it was like wide open lane. So uh, I didn't see the video yet, but that was my feeling. So just kind of uh, took that shot. Not many people would have blocked me in that situation, you know. But Kawhi is one of them, and he played excellent defense. So um, probably could have done something better in that situation. But you know, everything happened so quick that um, yeah, tough, tough one again. It was nice. I was going to say, uh, not many players can block your shot, especially someone his size. Is that the type of defensive player where you just tip your cap? Tip your cap? Definitely. There was also a play in the first half. Uh, he doubled me. I kind of saw um, AJ cutting. I was like, oh, that's, that's an easy one. And, and Kawhi just whoop, went to get it, stole the ball. I was like, okay, you have to be careful around him. You know, he's length. It's, it's, you know, it's a little bit like you don't see it, you know, and then it's there. So he's definitely you know, one of the best defensive players there is, you know, he's, he's wingspan, his arms, and, and, and you know, his strength. So, I mean, it's, you know, it's a Kawhi Leonard, you know, so, yeah, what can I say? Can't be on a lot of defensive plays and stuff, you guys, it seems like you guys are right there and just are, are lacking the last kind of 1% mm -hmm. um, in games and individual plays and everything. Yeah. Is that just being shorthanded and fatigued or are you seeing that as kind of a continuation of a problem that already existed? That uh, last one, the last couple of threes, which were made a little bit late on the end when we were in zone, and then uh, the one where Corey went to double um, Kawhi in the post against Denny. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's on me because I didn't expect us to go double in that one. I didn't know we were doubling Kawhi against Denny. Um, so that one's on me. Um, I was late for the rotation there. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's definitely my fault on that one. Uh, I think next level for us also is like when Corey is going, uh, he can yell out something, you know, so next guy's ready to, I, I kind of was, I was like, not expecting him to go. But yeah. That's yeah, just a little bit of mis miscommunication uh, on, on for us, and, and it comes with experience <coughs> for us. You know, so again, yeah, it's it's a tough stretch that we're having right now, but um, it's you know the, tomorrow's a new day and there's a new game in, in two days. Um, we have to keep we have to keep uh, we have to keep grinding. We have to keep looking at the mistakes and, and, and try to fix them. And uh, sooner or later we'll get there. We're a young group, we're a new team that, that's put together, and, and that's it. You know, these guys are trying to contend for the title. You know, and, and we fought like this with them for the um, So we have to look at the positives. We can definitely clean some things up the last few games late on, but um, there's definitely good stuff we can take away. And, and uh, again, as I said, more than day. Who's mentioned that you guys are having all these players come in and out of run injuries and everything like that, that you're a little bit on offense, um, searching for a uh, singular direction in the way you play. Does that strike you as true? Do you kind of see what he means by that or is that? Singular direction? <coughs> uh, he's talking just about the mission and how you guys kind of play on offense and operate just didn't, didn't get any chemistry in line with the lineups changing and everything. It's not easy. It's not easy, obviously. You know, the, we have personnel that we have. Um, having a guy like Brad out should completely change how we play. You know, it's cool. Uh, cool, I think, was excellent tonight, making plays, being super aggressive, shooting the ball well. He was doing his part, you know, but uh, we, we we're just you know, we're short on, 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 on people and guys that are coming in. Everybody's giving us something, and it's just sometimes you're just short-handed, and it's the reality. So. Uh, Brad, Delon, Rudy, Will's out now. And it's hard, it's hard to have incredible chemistry. 
with even if those guys were playing right now, it would be hard. The 25 games into the season in a year that you know, pretty much we these guys I'm for the first time playing with Brad this season. So and we're we're finding we're finding that chemistry. But uh, it's it's early on. It's early on and you know, we haven't had the best luck with the with the COVID with some injuries for guys. So as soon as we, we have a bit more consistency, a bit more luck and we're all out there and, and, and start click. It's gonna turn like that and you know, all of these close games are gonna go our way and it's gonna be a completely different different feeling. KP, how is the team staying positive going through this stretch where you've had some tough games, some losses? Okay, how do you keep yourself going in these in these situations? Good question. It's it's tough when when you're winning. It's easy to come to work the next day. The mood is you know up, like everybody's mood is good. Um, so it's definitely tougher, but but that's that's the end day. You know, not only you're gonna be winning, and you know, it's not all good, and and you're not always in perfect rhythm. You have ups and downs, and, and we're in a we're in a tough moment right now. But we have to look at it from from a perspective of like. Not too much emotion, you know. It's like, okay, hey, we're right there. It's, it's this this close, you know. So uh, the fight is there. The the energy is there. Um, it's just about just about cleaning up some of those things. And as I said, it can go our way really quick, and all of a sudden it can be all uh, it can be a different mood. So uh, there's nothing else to do but for us, but to just keep working. KP, is it fair to say that they were a lot more physical with you than most other teams are? They were definitely one of them. They're always one of the most physical teams against me. Um, they started doubling like early on. Um, and it's, you know, it's it's what I have to be ready for this. I have to, ex you know, I'm expecting these kind of uh, teams to play against me. You know, even like Pacers, they're there. I mean, every scouting report for every team is be extremely physical with him, you know. Morris try to do that. I try to get like those guys that I really hate playing against, I try to get them in foul trouble early. I did that with uh, Morris, you know. And, and then I was able to create some more problems for them. So um, it's no surprise, you know, it's gonna be like that every night for me if I if I keep playing this way and uh, hopefully we can get we can get all of our guys back as soon as possible. That will take the pressure off of Cruz and myself. It seems when one time you and Paul George collided and then you were kind of massaging your maybe right ankle, I guess, just how did you feel physically coming out of this? I feel good, I feel good. I mean, of course, a little banged up, blow my ankle. Um, but, yeah, it's at this point of the season, you're always going to have something going on, you know, so just keep going. If it's, if it's nothing that you can, can create some more, you know, problems, then just keep going. And, and uh, Enjoy, like I'm, I'm enjoying playing basketball so much, you know, being healthy and good with them. Um, it's just, you know, want to turn those, those, some of these losses into, into wins. And, and, uh, and yeah, just will be on cloud nine. I think I saw you dap up John at the end of the game. I guess, is that just, you know, just, hey, good game, or do you guys maybe have yeah, a just deeper respect relief? for him, you know. I had a pretty <coughs> dirty play in one moment, like we got like tangled up and I kind of like grabbed his leg a little bit. I wanted to say I was like it wasn't it wasn't on purpose. Um, and yeah, and, uh, just respect for him, what he has done, what he has done for this city, for this team. And, um, and you can see that there's still a lot of love for him here, and, and uh, you know, he's a great player, and I'm I'm happy to see him come back and, and be be, be John Wall again.